Creating buttons in Corona is easy, but first you need to understand a few concepts. Corona has button configurations and button layouts. Each point of sale has a configuration assigned to it, and each configuration can have many different button layouts. A layout can be on multiple different configurations. Therefore, if you change a layout, it can affect multiple configurations. Also, a button without a function will not appear on the point of sale. Make sure you follow all those steps when configuring your button in order for it to appear on the POS. To change your buttons, navigate to Settings and Button Configurations. Edit the default layout configuration. You can see your quick keys, or the first screen the cashier will see when they log in, as well as the functions tabs. To change the buttons on the screen, simply click Edit. A new tab will open up showing you the Edit Button Layout screen. Click on a button to see its function. Now click on an open area. You can now create a new button. Click on Add Function. Depending on what you want the button to do, you have several choices. But for now, click on Add Product. Then select the product you want this button to be assigned to. The button is now created. The name automatically fills in depending on what product you chose. To change that, simply type in a new name. You can change the button's size and color. If you want to move it, simply click and hold and then drag the button to its new location. If you want to delete a button, right click and then click delete. Save your button layout and close the tab. You will see your change reflected on the configuration screen. From this screen, you can also create a brand new button layout. Click on button layouts and then new. You have four options to choose from. Empty, from a single commodity group, from commodity group hierarchy, and from tag. If you have your items categorized in commodity groups or tagged and want to add all of these at the same time, those options might be for you. For now, choose Empty Button Layout. Give it a unique name so you can identify it later and choose a size. Leave it at 1x12 if you want it on the right side of the POS. Choose 4x9 if you're on widescreen mode or choose 3x12 if you are not. Add a button just like we did before and save it. Close this tab and edit your quick keys. Click on an empty spot, add a function, choose the function type, button layout, and select your newly created button. You now have a button that links directly to your new button layout. There is another way to create single buttons for products. In your product edit screen, click on To Button, then follow the directions. Choose the layout you want to put this button on, customize it, then drag the button over, and click Save. Now that you have your buttons configured, let's figure out how to transfer the data to your point of sale.